Today we are discussing the interview questions and answers for AWS Certified SysOps Administrator Associate. You can download the complete list of AWS based questions from the link provided in the description. For interview question based on SysOps Administrator Associate is how do you monitor and troubleshoot performance issues in Amazon Redshift clusters? Your answer should be performance issues in Amazon Redshift clusters can be monitored and troubleshooted using tools like Amazon CloudWatch for monitoring cluster metrics, Redshift query monitoring for analyzing query execution times, and resource utilization and system views like stl underscore query and svv underscore table underscore info for identifying performance bottlenecks. Our next interview question is what is AWS cloud formation change sets and how do they help with infrastructure changes? Your answer should be AWS Cloud Formation Change Sets allows you to preview proposed changes to your AWS infrastructure before applying them. They help with infrastructure changes by providing a way to understand the impact of changes, review the changes, and approve them before executing them before executing them to ensure predictable and controlled deployments. Our next interview question is how do you implement automated backups and recovery for Amazon Aurora databases? Your answer should be automated backups and recovery for Amazon Aurora databases can be implemented by enabling automated backups, specifying backup retention periods, taking manual snapshots for point-in-time recovery, configuring cross-region replication for disaster recovery, and testing backup and recovery procedures regularly. Our next interview question is what is Amazon Elastic Block Stored EBS Volume Encryption and how does it help with data security? Your answer should be Amazon Elastic Block Store EBS Volume Encryption allows you to encrypt data at rest on EBS volumes using AWS Key Management Service KMS Managed Keys. It helps with data security by providing data encryption at the volume level, ensuring data confidentiality and integrity even if the volume is detached from the instance. Our next interview question is, how do you implement high availability and fault tolerance for Amazon EC2 instances? Your answer should be high availability and fault tolerance for Amazon EC2 instances can be implemented by using auto scaling groups with multiple EC2 instances distributed across multiple availability zones AZs, configuring elastic load balancing for distributing traffic across instances and enabling multi AZ deployment for RDS databases. Our next interview question is what is AWS WAF that is Wave Application Firewall and how does it help protect Wave applications? Your answer should be AWS WAF is a Wave Application Firewall that helps protect wave applications from common wave exploits and attacks such as SQL injection, cross-site scripting, XSS, and DDoS attacks. It allows you to define customizable rules and conditions to block or allow traffic based on criteria like 
IP addresses, HTTP headers, or request patterns. If you are preparing for any AWS-based certifications, you can download the complete list of valid, tried and tested questions and answers from the link provided in the description below.